What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Juice Reacts video and in today's video we're going to be reacting to part 5 and 6 of Hell's Reach. We are continuing our reaction series of this movie. Now I do want to say the plan for this past weekend was I was going to actually react to some of the lore from Warhammer 40k to kind of help me out with what's kind of going on, kind of know the you know, different types of space marines and all that kind of stuff. But unfortunately I had a family emergency, my grandmother actually fell down and broke her leg. So, uh, reactions and, you know, kind of stuff has just been kind of, you know, not even on the top of my priority list. So, we're going to go into this again. So, I haven't been able to react to any of the lore, just kind of learn more about the history of, you know, just Warhammer and just everything like that. But I really appreciate you guys, you know, still giving me the information and like, hey, this thing is that, this thing is that. You guys are really awesome. But I will try to do that after this. But for now, we're going to go ahead and react to part five and six of Hell's Reach. I'm still going to call him Beaky Boy, but I appreciate everybody giving me the names of the characters in this movie, which I thought was really awesome. If I'm not, Beaky Boy, I think is like Bastion. It might be slightly off, but that's close. But I appreciate you guys giving me the names of the characters. All right, so here, this is part five, ladies and gentlemen. I think when we left off, they were about to, I think a war was about to start. It, that's at least that was the feel of it. Three days. In three days, they will decide if they are to come to our aid or deploy along the Hemlock River with the rest of their legion. There's a chance they will not even walk in our defense. Ooh. So it seems. I am going to the view tower. Is the Moderati Primus still within the hive? Uh, yes, Reclusiak. Tell him to meet me there. Reclusiak. Uh, be polite. But do not ask. Tell him. Ooh, assertive. You damn right, you tell him. Have they ever thought about making, like, a live action Warhammer movie? I mean, if they make World of Warcraft, come on. Like, you telling me you can't make this? Like, this thing just looks fire. I feel like design-wise, it would be amazing. Like, has somebody, how has somebody not bought the rights to this? And tried to make a fucking amazing movie? Or would it just be too crazy? Like, I mean, those, those suits look pretty intense. If you were gonna try to make them, like, This is practical. the greatest of Armageddon's port cities. We are about to be assaulted by the largest green-skinned breed Xenos invasion ever endured by the Imperium of Man. We must have Titans, Casimir. I am aware of your need. My need? It is the Hive's need. Armageddon's need. As you say, the Hive's need, but I am not the Princeps Majoris. I report on the Hive's defenses to her, and the decision is hers to make. The Invigilata has received mm. strong petitions from other cities and other forces. I must speak with her. If you wish, I could perhaps arrange a conversation over the so box. So people have definitely mentioned Titans but before I in the comments. Here, a man of not I, inconsiderable station just, myself, to show that the Invigilata right is earnest in its dealings with you. I appreciate that. I am not blind to your rank. Ooh. Tell me, Moderati. Is Water it permissible to speak me. with your Princeps Majoris in person? No, Reclusiak. That would be a violation of Invigilata tradition. Princeps. Your objection is noted. And Julian I'm assuming Lord. Princess? What? Ooh. Artarian, ready the land raider. We're going out into the wastelands. Ooh. Okay, we're leaving. Okay. So, like, on this planet, which, I, or I don't know if it's the city or if the planet is called Hell's Reach. I'm assuming this area, this planet is Hell's Reach, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, what is, like, the environment like on these planets? Like, I don't, it just doesn't give off a blue sky vibe. Do we have, like, you know, skies, are the conditions different? Oh, is that a Titan? Wait, is Hell's Reach on that thing? What is that? Is that a Titan? 
That's fire, bro. Holy crap. That's a moving city. I didn't know this was a freaking Studio Ghibli over here. Yo, that's a moving freaking church. With guns. Ooh, who are these dudes? Okay, so these look like those other guys. The guy he was talking to, which I'm assuming this is... He said this is like a violation to talk to the Brunelis. princess. Reclusiarch of the Black Temple. Your identity is known to us. Ooh. The next time I am interrupted, I will kill one of you. <laughs> we are not to be. Are they pointing the gun at Neither are you to be addressed. You are nothing. Slaves, oh. all of you. Barely above servitors. Now move aside. I have business with your mistress. We, we are not to be ordered into submission. We are to remain as duty demands. Oh, please, I will gonna speak fight. with the Princeps Majoris of Invigilata, even if I have to shout up to the cathedral itself. Reclusiarch, must we bear this foolish indignity? Yes. No. Wait. I don't know what that meant. <laughs> I think he said we shouldn't have to take this, so they're going to fight, hopefully. No. Yes, yeah, see? Kill them. Yes! Slice him in half, bro. Ooh. I wish to speak with the intruders. Access granted. Ooh. Oh, so they did have guns. Okay. Thought so. That is what I thought you would say. Make this count, brother. Trust me. Dude, that is awesome. That's got to be a titan, right? Because I think somebody said, like, oh, this dude's going to like titans. I think that was the, that's what the comment was. I could be wrong. Oh, she looks old. Greetings, Astartes. Princeps Majoris. An honor to stand in your presence. Waste no time on pleasantries. Storm Herald wits, and soon I must walk. Speak. I'm, I'm told by one of this guy and a girl's pilots, voice at the same time. As an ambassador to Hell's Reach, that Invigilata may not walk in our defense. And this is so. I command one third of this legio. The rest already walks in defense of the Hemlock Legion. Many with your brothers, the Salamanders. Do you come to petition me for my portion of mighty Invigilata? Yes. I do not beg, Princeps. I came to see you with my own eyes and ask you face to face to fight and die with us. But you have not yet completed your intended duty, Astartes. Is that so? We are not face to face. Oh. Oh, you think we can take off his helmet? Damn. What's up with the bolts? Uh, I know that everybody says that these, uh... Um... You have very kind eyes. I know that the Astarte and name? everything are actually humans that are, uh... Grimaldus of the Black Templars. Oh, crap. Now we are face to face, Grimaldus of the Black Templars. You have been bold enough to come here and honor me with your face. I am no fool. I know how rare it is for a chaplain to reveal his human features to one not of his brotherhood. Ask what you came to ask and I will answer. She's gonna say no. Or it's gonna say no, I don't really know. <gasps> Can you touch it? Princeps Zaha, Hell's Reach calls for you. Will you walk? No. Music's picking up. Music's picking up. She's gonna say no. Invigilata will walk. Oh! Wow. I thought it was gonna be one of those things where it was like, no, do it yourself. And then they start the battle, you know, and they have to freaking fight by themselves, and then it shows up at the end. It's like, you know. 
classic uh, last second save. But all right, we're gonna get that right at the start. That thing is massive. Welcome to Hell's Reach. Hey, old chaplain. I was born in a hive like this, you know. It is fitting then that you'll be dying here, Zaha. Uh huh? Do you say so, Sir Knight? Have you seen me today? It is impossible not to see you, Princeps. It's impossible to kill me as well. Ooh. Remember that, Grimaldus. I just want to see this battle because, like, Grimaldus is straight up like. We're gonna die Hell's here. We ready. need to do this. Like, he, it kind of feels like he knows this fell, is his end. The sky caught fire. What is that? Oh, is it gonna start? Okay, so that was part five. We're jumping right into part six. Let's do this. I want to see what was about to happen. We're about to get some action here. I'm ready for this. Everybody was telling me just wait for part seven, which that'll be our next video. But everybody's like, oh, I can't wait for you to see part seven. That was awesome, though. Like... Ooh. I'm ready to see these weapons get used, though. Okay, so there's what happened on the last step, the last freaking video. I don't think that's one of. The, is that one of their ships? Okay. Damn, that's a strong ass ship. None of it breaks off. Hell's Reach. Part six. What's gonna happen? Uh, the ship registers as the purest intent. An Astartes vessel, strike cruiser class, belonging to the Shadow Wolves. <gasps> they fell at the Was Battle that? of Varagon <coughs> eleven years ago. Their last companies were annihilated mm. by the Tyranid breed Xenos. The Black Templars were with them at the end. What is the status of Battlefleet Armageddon? A holding? But we have a greater comprehension of enemy numbers now. The four to nine day estimate has been abandoned as of 30 minutes ago. This is the greatest Greenskin fleet ever to face the Imperium. The fleet's casualties are approaching a million souls. Holy One shit. One or two more days at best. The crash ship. I suggest we hold, Reclusiarch. A handful of Greenskin survivors cannot hope to survive an assault against the walls. They would be insane, even for So wait, are they thinking the enemies are on that ship? Send a, a titan. I am not making a jest. Send a titan to obliterate the wreckage. Inspire the men. Give them an overwhelming victory before the true battle is even joined. The commissar is correct. Okay, so... Hell's Reach needs an overwhelming victory. It is time my knights took to the field. Wait. Oh. Wait, so this are they... This is bad comedy. Are they considered titans? Fall back, dammit. Nice. Hell yeah. Prior I love the no-look shots. Another lecture about Always vain cool. glory in his future. We will draw first blood. Grimaldus had said to them all, as if it was something to care about, as if it would affect the final battle in any way at all. Join me, brothers. Join me as I shake off this disgust at the stasis gripping my bones, and slake my bloodthirst in holy slaughter. These warriors who called him vainglorious were blind to the truth. He was not rash, he merely trusted in his skills to carry him through any challenge. Was that a weakness? How could it be considered so when Priamus's deeds and glories were already Dude, rising so, to eclipse those he's of his so brothers? so nonchalant killing these dudes. Priamus, <laughs> 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 leave him be. <laughs> That's <laughs> awesome. 
Yo, that he dude is so chill. He needs discipline. He needs our trust. But will I that cockiness get him killed? Survivor, still bleeding. Ooh. Shoot him. Yeah, there you go. No. What did you say? What? I said no. Wait, do they talk to them and stuff? I was about to find out. They always seem so immune to pain. But no. Look into its eyes, brother. Do you see? No, brother. If there is a lesson in this, I am blind to it. <laughs> Let me end it. Its existence offends me. <laughs> its lifespan is measured in moments. <laughs> its existence offends me. That's a Let great it die line. In this pain. That is a great line. <laughs> I'm going to use that on some of my friends. Your existence offends me. <laughs> That's awesome. Damn, that was good. So somebody you, told me... Do you see something? Those bullets are like yes, the size something. of this can. Or bigger. So enlighten me. That's crazy. It's Primus. Isn't it always... I've lost his life signs. What? <laughs> that cannot be. Here, among this rabble, <gasps> I do not make mistakes. Did the fucking guy die? Speak. I've lost Primus's life signs, sir. Brothers, maintain search and destroy orders. What? We need to be silent. I will find Primus. Oh. Primus is the cocky one, right? Oh shit, don't tell me he died. Cockiness always gets him killed, man. Oh shit. Yep. That's him. Did he die? Did he get knocked out? You can't be dead, my guy. Ooh, tell me you're faking. Tell me you're faking. He's gonna stab him right in the face. There's a knife in his chest. Greetings. Oh, he caught it! You're dead. Chop his head off. Yeah! <laughs> Got him. Bro, no way! Nero. Reclusiac. I have found Primus. Is he dead? Aft, deck four. Tertiary spine corridor. On my way. Assessment? Some kind of force discharging weapon. His armor is powered down, but he's still breathing. Okay. Three minutes, Reclusiac. Wake up, my guy. Damn, that thing didn't even look like it... Honestly, didn't look like it even pierced the armor the way it was. Oh, he's moving. All right. Get Those up, dude. Horses. They shot me. No shit. Some kind of nerve weapon. Get away from me. <laughs> always salty, man. The cocky ones are always salty after they've been defeated. Speak. I would hear your thoughts. Ooh. I am not blind to your tensions of late. Duty is not always glorious. Ooh. You have changed since inheriting Mordred's mantle. Uh, you are speaking foolishness. <laughs> no, hear me. We have spoken, Kador, Nero, Bastelan, Primus, and myself. Bastelan. We must all deal with these changes, and we must all face this duty. Your darkness is spreading to the entire crusade. Ooh. What, what darkness? 
Rikuziak. Colonel Saren. Rikuziak, throne of the God Emperor. It's truly beginning. Elaborate. Battle fleet Armageddon is in full retreat. Uh, the Astartes fleet is withdrawing alongside them. Oh, it's beginning. Shit. Has there oh, been any communication shit. from the Eternal Crusader? Yes. Shall I have the message relayed to you? At once, Colonel. Hell's Reach, this is the Crusader. We are breaking from the planet. The orbital war is lost. Hell is coming, brother. Oh! oh! about to start, isn't it? Oh, the war is about to happen. Ah, oh, come on. Bro, the music is so good. The music is so good in these things, dude. Like, it builds the suspense and you're just like ready. I gotta say, I mean, obviously, I'm, I wasn't around. These things are coming out in 2017, so I wasn't into this community. But uh, I'm assuming that these got released in part one, part two, part three, as I am watching them. But, uh, man, they, they know how to do a cliffhanger really well. Because some, some shows, or some even, like, I read a lot of comic books. Some comic books don't even do cliffhangers that great sometimes. But these do a really good job. But that is part five and part six, ladies and gentlemen. We will be reacting to part seven and part eight in the coming days. But uh, yeah, sorry that the videos have been kind of all over the place. Like I said at the start of the video, I've had some crazy family stuff. So my brain hasn't been into it. But this is still fire. Still love reacting to it. Keep hitting me with your knowledge. I am reading your comments. I've been responding to some of you guys. Thank you so much for, uh, you know, just giving me the knowledge of this community. I think it's really awesome. But that's going to be it, ladies and gentlemen. Part five and part six of Hell's Reach. I'm really enjoying this. Part 7 is the one that everybody was telling me that they can't wait for me to watch because I guess that's what's going to be the freaking war part. So I'm excited. Can't wait to get to that. But as always, ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't hit that subscribe button already, please hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the videos we upload here. And as always, I'm your host, Juicebox. Remember to wake up in the morning and ask yourself something. But I'm a daily dose of juice. See you guys next time.